I think about the future of Texas cities, I think that the future of Texas cities in terms of transportation is shared. I think shared is a really important theme that I want to keep kind of going back to throughout this talk. Um, so first off, uh, my background is I actually grew up first in Dallas, then lived here in Austin, um, and moved to Houston um, in 2005. So I've been a Houstonian for nearly 15 years. Um, and the past two of those years, I've been part of this nonprofit that's been running the bike share system. Um, and in that time, we've seen a, a ton of really cool trends and success. Um, at the beginning of 2018, we had 50 stations. By the end of this year, we'll be at over 100 stations throughout, stations throughout the, the center of Houston. Um, that Our ridership has also increased. So our ridership just last year compared to this year, we're increasing by 50%. Those are huge trends. Um, I'll also say that when this program first began, it was in 2012. And it didn't come about because a bunch of citizens were banging on city council doors and asking for bike share. In fact, I'm pretty sure that many Houstonians didn't even know what bike share was. But because thought leaders and decision makers got together and thought, let's just try this out, bam, you had three stations and 18 bikes that started this thing off in 2012. Fast forward to now, as I said earlier, we'll be ending the year with over 100 stations throughout uh, the center part of Houston. And, uh, but the success of our program isn't, because only, isn't only because of the work that we're doing. It's being supported by um, other players that are um, critical to how we evolve and start to change the status quo um, when it comes to our transportation systems. So every urban city in Texas struggles with congestion. Our population growth is dramatic. So we have to start thinking creatively, and we need to do it by working together, which is part of that, um, the shared concept. Rather than being stuck in your car, an hour-long commute both ways, um, emissions from your car adding to the, the horrible pollution that we're seeing in our Texas cities, which, by the way, transportation um, is the biggest contributor to planet warming gases, so this is a major issue. Um, we should be looking at creating a system that is flexible and allows for people to get around in a multimodal um, fashion. How do we do that? The uh, current state of affairs is you've got the automobile industry, you've got public transit in some of our cities. Um, ridership is down, though. And then you've got these kind of new forms um, of new players in the mix. And so I would categorize the automobile industry and public transit as kind of the insiders or the status quo. And then you've got the disruptors, which are these new forms of micromobility, but also before that, Uber and Lyft with rideshare. So you've got private sector and public sector. There's a way for these two to work together, and I think that's going to be the key to how we evolve away from um, the, the single occupancy vehicle travel and giving people... Um, the option, the reliability, the, um, the, uh, the, a new method with multiple options for how they can get around. So multimodality means how do we give people those options at their fingertips? We, there's a thing in the micromobility industry called um, MOS. I've also heard it pronounced MASS. It's called mobility as a service. So this is utilizing our phones. There are private companies that are creating a more integrated, seamless way for us to find multimodal options to get where we need to go. And so this is what we need to be looking forward to as we plan for the next 10 years, is imagine what if in the city, in any, any Texas city today, um, instead of feeling trapped in our cars, getting from point A to point B, we had the option of planning our trip, um, walking the first 15 minutes toward a transit stop or a what I like to call a micromobility hub. You get to select either a bike share bike, and that serves as your first and last mile solution to a transit connection. So it means that we're creating a public transportation system for everybody in a city to be able to use. You're still, you're not deviating away from public transit. You're leveraging um, an existing infrastructure, but also designing it in a new way to offer these new modes of transit to connect. Um, and I think that's going to be key. So 
when we think about transportation, it's shared. We need to be um, coming together, thought leaders and decision makers, on a shared vision. We need to realize that takes shared investment to build a shared infrastructure, to, uh, to allow for a shared transit network, and then a shared experience together. Because um, what the, the beauty of our Texas cities is that we all get to interact um, with each other and um, we should be creating more of those connections and not living more isolated. So um, I think transportation, if we were to move toward a shared, shared reality, then we'll be happier, healthier, and um, that makes me optimistic. <laughs>